Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new fighter request. Thank you so much for stopping by. Man, you guys have been requesting Derek Lewis for, for quite a bit. So uh, here we go. We are facing Kane Velasquez in the heavyweight division ranked. Um, Derek Lewis is someone that I've used before, but I've used him like maybe twice. And uh, what I found is that Derek Lewis is quite powerful, and you can actually use him to do some technical striking. There we go. Let's touch gloves. No. All right. So let's see what we can do here. As he lands a body kick. It looks like we are dealing with a Mike Tyson, Kane Velasquez. Yep. The interesting thing about this, though, is that this is kind of how Kane fights. Like, Kane Velasquez and Daniel Cormier, they do kind of have that kind of head movement where they kind of stand in front of you a little bit, move their head, try to get you in a clinch, rip uppercuts, try to take you down. It is a Kane Velasquez style of fighting. But we got to be real careful. He's starting to land. Almost goes for the clinch right there. Can't let him keep landing those body kicks. So, so that's going to sap my stamina. I'm going to keep working his legs. Ouch. Beautiful leg kicks right there. We keep blasting away at those legs. Right. Oh, my God. That body hook hurt. That one stung. Another one. Dude's throwing a lot of uppercuts. Watch the shot here, Joe. That landed. Oh, he hurt me. I'm rocked. Man, I wonder what he was gonna do when he got me in the clinch. He tried getting me in the clinch right there after he rocked me. Probably go for a, a slam or something. He try to finish me in side control. Just misses with a left hook there. <laughs> We're lunging away from danger using Derek Lewis. As Kane is just rushing at me like a bull. Yeah, let's keep blasting those legs. If you notice, sometimes I'm just kind of planting. I'm planting my feet and just ripping. Again. Uh, hook to the head by the Black Beast. Oh, good combination. Again, he's looking for that left. It's not there. Velasquez gets tagged again. He better fix the defense here. You know, he wasn't able to drop me in that round. So, I'm not sure who won the round. I think I might have won the round. Yeah, I might have won the round even though he rocked me. Because I definitely feel like I landed more shots. Landed a lot of those leg kicks. Switching stances now. Well, the offense has been there. He is landing some good shots, but Ow. really stringing them together and putting. Man, this dude is just moving. Oh no! <laughs> uh, he tried to go for the double. Almost got it. And he's hurt. Dropped. I wonder why he didn't block right there. After I rocked him, he just he didn't block at all. How about that chin? Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. I mean, look at this dude. Look at this dude's head flashing red, and he's still coming at me. Like, bro, relax. Your head is hurt. Oh, he might be out. Big left hand. 
Oh, double uppercut. Got rocked right there. This could be it right here. Just misses with the jet. I don't think he realizes just how damaged his head is right now. Good defense there. Big body shot. He's landing though. And just misses Jesus. With that big right hand. Hurt. Hurt again. Surprised that didn't drop him. That was a block breaker right there. Oh no. Oh, he's hurt. Yeah, let's get on top. Okay. All right, people. That's it. That is it. Interesting Cain Velasquez player. He did not go for as much takedowns as I thought he was going to go for. Uh, for the most part, he kept the fight on the feet, tried to work his boxing. He did not throw a lot of kicks either. He just tried to uh, use that head movement, the slip counters, but uh, we're able to rock him enough times to damage his head, and then you know when you get rocked repeatedly like that, it kind of snowballs, and after a while, you're just not going to be able to take damage like you were able to before. And Derek Lewis hits very, very hard in this division. He really does. And he's not slow either. He hits hard and he's not slow. But um, yeah, that's it for the first fight. I'm going to go ahead and get the next one. I'll be right back. Next fight is against Stipe Miocic. This one should be tough. Stipe is very good in this game. Very good boxing, very fast. His grappling is very good as well. Good stamina. He's the champ. He is the champ. Let's touch it up right there. Here we go. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. Starting to rip right away. Oh, come on. He's okay. Okay. All right, he's doing that cheese. He's doing that cheese. <laughs> he's doing that duck down, go for the double leg cheese. All right, so this dude's not going to play fair. He's not going to play fair even though he's got Stipe, which means you cannot either. So let's do it. Let's do it. Survive this ground and pound. And hopefully we can get back up to my feet in this round. Oh, he denies that. No. Okay, so I'm officially stuck on the ground, but let's just survive. Let us live to tell the story. Try to go to sprawl right away. Sprawl, okay. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. See if I can get up and escape the clinch right away. Nah, no, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. You know what? Screw it. Screw it. This dude's not playing fair. I'm not going to either. Just misses with the straight right. Another shot. Rocked. He's going to go for that double again. See, he's ducking. God, I hope I can. I'm going to try to. I'm going to try to see if I can land him. Right there, drop him. One of you guys suggested I try to stay real close to him when I noticed that they're doing that double leg. Oh, God damn. I can't stop it. I, can't, I cannot stop it. Can't stop it. And I was talking to you to one of you in, in the other video, and you said something about grapple advantage. They duck down to get grapple advantage, and then they shoot. I think that's what it is because I cannot stop these takedowns. I can't. I cannot stop it. <laughs> it's impossible to stop. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh my lord. I cannot wait to punch this dude in the face. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the dead. Cheese and Derek Lewis with Stipe Miocic. The heck is wrong with you, bro? Alright. Oh no. <laughs> it 
It's not a Monster Mind video unless he presses the PlayStation Home button at least once. Why are you cheesing me, bro? Why are you doing that? You got Stipe, bro. Come on. Come on. I ain't touching your gloves. I ain't touching your gloves. His opponent was in big trouble at the end of that round. Good defense there. Okay, so he's planting and ripping. That's very good. That is actually pretty, pretty good. What he's doing right now. Just planting his feet and ripping shots. And he's rocked. Dropped. Oh, no. <laughs> Man, I've noticed with, with Lewis, man, when he rocks people, it's like he just drops them. Huge block there. And I'm rocked again. Oh, my God. I'm getting beat up. I'm getting beat up. Oh, Lord. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Time to go for the fake cheese so I can get up. And we're up. Well, back to his feet, Joe, but man, is he hurt. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Lots and lots of cheese. As he gets rocked, see if we can drop him. No. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than he saw in round one. Woo! And now starting to find himself. Dangerous when he plants his feet like that. Yeah. Let's see if we can just draw shots from this dude with feints. Just over two minutes now to go in round two. Yeah, it's it's freak. It's like he's cheating. I'm actually pushing him now. That's weird. That is so weird. I am uh I'm a little bit frustrated with this with this opponent. So I'm kinda taking a few risks right now. I know he's confident in his chin, but he's a sitting duck there walking right into the pocket to absorb that hook. Oh my god. Rocked. One of us will get lucky right here. I mean, this is just, this is. Oh my god, he gets dropped. And this fight's done. I need to see that replay. I need to see that replay because I suspect. I suspect that he was trying to throw a stationary straight and I was able to beat him with a lean hook. That would be crazy. Hold on a sec. That's about as good a one strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the No, he was going for a stationary hook. See, this this right here is what I was talking about. The the lean hook is so it's it's faster than a normal let's see that? It's faster than a normal hook. He we threw with the hook at the same time, but because I leaned first, I was able to land and I beat him to the exchange. And I dropped him, spiked the vulnerability and dropped him. <laughs> so there he is after a monumental knockout cheese. here tonight. That cheese, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, it's time. either I cheese him back or I lose the fight. So, anyways, let's see if we can get a better fight. Let's see if we can get something better for you guys. I uh, try to get another fight, and I'll be right back very shortly. All right, people, here we go. Next one is against Junior Segano Dos Santos. Let's see if we can do some boxing with JDS, who has been my favorite heavyweight for the longest time. And in this game, he has some brain-rattling power, dude. If you can start landing those combos with JDS, I mean, his boxing is quite lethal. I'm going to be, I'm gonna try to be very careful against this player. But Derek Lewis can bang. Derek Lewis can bang. Does not matter who's standing in front of him. Doesn't matter if it's Francis and Gano. Who has like a, a hundred on, on power. It's just crazy. Derek Lewis can bang. He, can, he could bang. He could bang even in, in UFC 2. But he can bang even more. 
in this game. So unguarded right into the pocket, and as such, he leans right into that. Look at his left leg. I've already damaged his left leg. That's interesting. Keep landing it then. Keep landing that. Right there. Digging into that leg kick. Really nice. Nice. But misses. Okay, starting to switch his stance. Smart. He's blocking almost all these shots. Some fighters shy away from checking a leg kick. Check that one. Oh, solid jab. A oh, right punch followed by a left there by Dos Santos. Wow, nice slip and an even better rip. I can't even really tell us a speed difference, to be honest with you guys. Like, I know Junior is faster. I definitely know he's faster. I just, like, I'm not feeling it. He's popping him in his tracks with those jabs. Rocked. Dropped. Can we finish him right here? Oh my god. Oh lord. That was quick. Man. We were just kind of testing each other out, trying to figure each other out, and then just Derek Lewis exploded and the fight ended. I'm so surprised he wasn't able to survive that first knockdown. I guess that was a critical rock. Okay, so that, that fight was kind of fast. I want to get another one. That was kind of fast. It was a better fight, but it was fast. Let's get let's get one more with Derek Lewis. I'll be right back with you guys very shortly. Massive knockout here tonight. Near perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight. Of the evening. All right, last fight. <laughs> last one. Lewis weighed in. And I run into Fabricio Verdum. He will have a 2-inch reach advantage. Now for the Please don't submit me. That's all I ask. Don't submit me. <laughs> I sound like Donkey from Shrek. Eat my face last. Send my hoops to my mama. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's like, it's like he wants to strike. He's not shooting. He's just standing in front of me. Which works for me. Because... I can find an opening in there. Nice. Dude, the sounds of punches in the heavyweight division is ridiculous. Like they're getting shot. By the way, am I the only one that kind of gets confused using Derek Lewis? If you guys notice, his idol when you're not blocking is the same idol as when you're tired, when you're fatigued. So, so sometimes when I see that while using Derek Lewis, I'm like, wait, am I tired? It's like I rock him right there with the straight. Oh, Lord. No. See that idol right there? That one hurt. <laughs> I'm trying to let go so you guys can see it, but I don't want to get hit. Oh my god, get hit. No. Nicely done to avoid the clinch. Knee to the body, got it up, but didn't get it to the target. Alright, so now he's throwing these knees. And he rocks, gets rocked again. Those knees can be very, very, very annoying. Rocked again. Oh, smart. Smart. Okay, so I was trying to break his block. I went for the jab straight. Jab overhand. He ducked under the overhand. That's smart. But um, I know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm going to do. If I rock him again, I'm going to go for an uppercut. And for his sake, I hope he does not try to duck that overhand. <laughs> 
range with the jab. How about that shin? Final minute. Kind of just standing in front of each other, not really doing much. And he's rocked again. Spins. Knee to the body. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. You know, a lot of players don't do that when you rock them. A lot of players really don't. Um, it's quite smart what he did, but man, that can get you in some serious trouble. That can get you in some serious trouble. Yeah, if if he gets rocked again and he ducks down, he's gonna he's gonna eat an uppercut, and that won't be good. Starting off this round, you gotta think he's probably still hurt from that last round. Goes for a takedown. Now nah, we're getting back up. I do not want to be on the ground with Fabricio, even if I'm on the top. Watch the shot here, Joe. Oh, strong punch there by the Black Beast. <laughs> Yeah, the flying knee in this game is so funny. And we exchange uppercuts right there. And he's rocked. There we go. Oh man! Oh no! Oh, he leaned right into that uppercut. Man, you can't, you cannot repeat the same defense twice. Not against a competent player, you can't do that. It's smart to duck under that uppercut. I mean, to duck under the overhand. But if you do it once, know that that your opponent saw it. And next time, he's just going to go for the uppercut. Oh, man. Man, we KO'd that dude. Knocked him out clean. Anyways, that is it with Derek Lewis. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section if you guys enjoyed the video. Also, leave your fighter requests below. And I will see what I can do. I'm really enjoying these fighter requests so far. And uh, we'll keep it going. As always, thank you for watching. means a lot. And I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, keep yourself safe. And have a wonderful day. Congratulations to fighter and team. And man, are they going to enjoy this one. A lot of people not giving them a chance coming in here tonight. And this is a moment that at times people just thought we wouldn't see. New champion here tonight. The longtime incumbent is out.